Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to The Longing. It's day 276. Um, only 24 days to go until um, day 100, or 100 days to go, which is very exciting. Uh, I, I'd say I didn't expect to get this far, but I absolutely did. I, <laughs> I knew from the beginning that I was going to get here at some point. But um, now, now that it's now that it's 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 maybe two corners away. It's not right around the corner, but maybe around the next corner, you know. Um, I, I've got nothing to talk about today. The last few days, I've uh, like had a topic to talk about, something that's happened in the day, or something that I I did in the day, or just some something that I saw, but not today. And so I've been spending all day trying to think of one. Um, and the, the, the only two things I thought of were, were the plethora of instruments that I own, or some Italian food, because I had lasagna for dinner, and I was like, Italian food's pretty, it's, it's, it's pretty interesting, isn't it? Um, oh god, I, I, I'm gonna start talking about Italian food now, so, watch out. Um, so yeah, I had some lasagna for dinner, lasagna is delicious. And it's pretty standardized. Every if you say lasagna, everyone knows that there's pasta, there's like a tomato meat sauce, there's some cheese on top. That's standard, everyone knows it. There's not gonna be any confusion there. But there then you get like the subtle differences. So when I make lasagna, then I put some stock in the sauce, some beef stock. And I know my mum, when she makes lasagna, she doesn't. And, I mean, her lasagna is the best I've ever eaten. It's, I've never had a better lasagna than hers. So, I don't know. But, I'm, I'm just saying, when you put beef stock on it, it does make it very delicious. And there are so many Italian dishes that, um... Uh, and every single one of them has, like, a correct way to make them, so to speak. If you make it wrong, an Italian will get mad at you. That's just the rules. Um... I mean, things like pasta aglio I don't know, is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> pasta aglio-olio-olio. Um, that's just like pasta and oil, so that's... You're not going to go wrong with that. But um, take, like, a pizza. People get so fucking finicky about pizzas. I, I don't give a shit if it's a fucking Neapolitan or a fucking New York style. I don't give a shit. Just give me a pizza. Pizza? All pizzas are delicious. This is this is a fact. This is Botman's fact of the day. Every single pizza is delicious. Take that to the bank. Um, I can't think of any other Italian food. Desserts? I've not. I don't hear many people like uh, complain about desserts. Italian people, that is. I see a lot of Italian like comments on Italian cooking videos and stuff like that. That are like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that with the tomatoes. You should be doing this, or you need to cook the pasta like this. But I, I've I've never seen that for like Italian desserts. I'll be honest, off the top of my head, I can't think of any Italian desserts, but uh, I'm sure there are some. Feel free to let me know. And if there are any Italians in the comments, calm down. It's okay. It's okay. You don't need to. Some people just cook differently. Cooking used to just be fucking boiling some water in a leaf. Look how far we've come. Just just calm down. It's fine. Do not worry about it. Uh, I guess I could also talk about what instruments I have. <laughs> I'm a musician. Or I was, I guess. I kind of gave up on that. Um, I own a lot of instruments. I own quite a few instruments. I'll start from the top. I... I play the piano. I don't own a piano, but I do play the piano. And if I see a piano, I will play it. Um, that's pretty standard. Everyone plays the piano. Uh, I also play the cello, which is what I specialized in for many years. Um, it's what it was kind of my main instrument for like 15 years or something. <laughs> Sheesh. No, I don't want to climb back up. Stupid fucking shade. Um, I can see on my desk I've got a kalimba next to me, which is like a a hand. 
operated music box. If you look up a kalimba, they're very nice. There's the famous video of the guy playing Can't Help Falling in Love With You on his kalimba while his dog is in a field. It's, it's a good video, and I love my kalimba. It's such a beautiful instrument. I can also see on my desk is my hammered dulcimer, which I've never learnt, but I do own it, and I have played it. Um, it's kind of difficult to describe. It's a lot of. It looks kind of like a harp, but you hit the strings rather than pluck them. If that makes sense. Uh, behind me, I have a melodica, which is one of my favorite instruments, just to kind of pull out and have a little go on. And I also have a bass guitar behind me. Uh, bass guitar, probably my favorite instrument. Maybe after piano, I don't know. But bass guitar is definitely up there. I love just jamming out on my bass guitar. It's it's a lot of fun. And I've, and I've just realized how peaceful it is just just in this little bit of cave. I think those are all the instruments I own. I don't think I own anything else. I'm looking around frantically. Maybe I, I probably own like some really small obscure instrument that I haven't remembered. No, don't think so. Uh, well, there you go. You've learnt a little bit more about me and my and what I do and what I play and my thoughts on Italian people. <laughs> I'm one sixteenth Italian. It's it's fine. I can say what I want. Um, and on that note, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Hope you've all had a great day. I've had a good day, so you better have as had have you better have had a good day as well. And I'll see you tomorrow.